Good morning, and today we're going to the island of Ogljan, one of Croatia's many islands. So we're going to check out what we have on the island, what it's like for living there, see what we have around the area. Apparently it's a place for renowned for its olive trees, its vineyards, cycling routes, hiking routes and stuff like that. So I'm very interested for the first time to be going on this island. So right now I'm in Zadar's port. It's called Luka Gajanica. And basically you just drive through, go towards the domestic port and then towards whichever island you want to, they have different sections. So you go and buy your ticket here uh, for a return for two people and a car. It costs 17 euros each way. So that's nearly 40 euros uh, for a return on the same day. Our journey starts at half past nine. And this is the, uh, this one, this is the boat that we're all gonna go on. You can either go on by car or you can go on just by foot as a passenger with bikes or whatnot. So yeah, uh, on the boat they have cafes. I'm not sure about food, but we'll check that when we get on there. So without further ado, I'll get back in the car and we'll start our journey. So here we are, we are at the port now. Just parked the car. And we're gonna head up the stairs and check out what we have on the boat. So there's not that many people, it's mainly builders that have come here today. I imagine a lot of work is being done on the island and between the summer months, you're not allowed to do any major work on the island because it disrupts tourists and stuff like that. So there are certain allowances for when you can be doing work. So everything's being done now. So up here, you can see there's a lot of benches that you can watch out onto the sea. Some fantastic views of Zadar and the island. Here's my darling wife. <laughs> so I've been meaning to go to one of these Zadar islands recently. I uh, just never really had the chance to do so, so right now is the perfect opportunity. Now I think we're going to go grab a coffee more than likely. But before that, I want to check around a bit more. So here we go. This is how you get in. So we've had to drive all the way from here, to enter straight into the boat here. Excited for our boat ride? I am. I am, I am, I am. So the islands we've been to before are... You've only been to Brač, right? Yeah, I have only been to Brač, yeah. It's our first time on a Zadarska island. Is it even Zadarska? Ah, this one is Zadarska, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this one, yeah. Everything else Both. we've been to is like been near split area. So this is uh, our first one near Zadar. <coughs> Kroyehej has many, many islands. I can't remember the exact figure. But yeah. Let's go get a coffee. Yeah, please. Coffee, mate. Um, so this is what it looks like inside. So we've just got many seating areas here. Obviously during the summer, this is going to be like packed full of people. Croissants, croissants, croissants. Croissants, eh? So here we are, we've parked up in a place called Poljana, which is about five minutes drive from Preko, which is where you go by boat. Here you can see there's a lot of charming boats parked in the bay here. We've got a few sort of like cafe bars and restaurants on the way. I've seen a supermarket, Tommy, which is nearby. So it does sort of have some kind of infrastructure and life here. Um, I'm going to see if any things are open during this time because some of the islands uh, in Croatia, they're really only active during the summer and most restaurants are closed. Um, it's still the morning, so I don't know whether these kind of open later, but they seem closed at the moment. Here we got the local studenats. 
got the locals drinking coffee. And yes, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. Beautiful. So you may ask, what are some of the negatives of living on an island? Well, there are a few. Being that obviously you're away from the mainland. So if you need anything, you need to go by boat over from Ireland to the mainland, which may sound obvious, but you know, sometimes it can be a pain um, because if it's too windy, for instance, then the boat probably won't go. So then you'll be stuck on the island. Also things like hospitals, there is no hospitals on the island itself. There is doctors, but no hospitals. So you would need to go to the mainland if you needed a hospital. Uh, the other negative is obviously something else that I've pointed out, which is during the summer months is when, you know, things are active and things are popping. But during like, you know, the colder months, that's when things are quite slow. There's not nothing much open, but it doesn't have to be a negative. That can be a positive as well. If you're that kind of person that kind of likes the activeness in the summer, but then wants just, you know, the kind of calmness and the place to just kind of be at peace fully, then you have that as well during the winter months. So, you know, it's the it's kind of best in both worlds, but if you're that active kind of restaurant goer that, you know, wants to be out and about all the time, all through the year, then maybe having a house here on the island is maybe not for you. So just strolling through the neighborhood here, you can see that it's nice and peaceful. You've got, all different kinds of houses none of them look the same which you know I love about Croatia back in my hometown of England you go down the street and there all the houses look the same they're all glued to each other but you know it really has character here because everyone has built their own houses and had their own sort of features and character which really brings something to this island uh, and I just love like the old-fashioned Croatian stonework and the olive trees in the backyard. It really is something amazing. So we are now in Preko, the main town, and we're just gonna sh search around for a bite to eat. So most of the restaurants on the seafront here are closed. First of all, we are on the island Uglien, in the center of Uglien's heart. <laughs> Prielo, yeah, Prielo? Preko. Preko. Oh, look at the water. Yeah. Look at that Admire water. Admire the colour. Oh. Where else if not in Adriatic Sea? Fantastic. Emerald Beautiful. green. Beauty. Right, up there. That's where it is, isn't it? There. Oh, up here. So we asked a kind, nice local around the place who's setting up for tourist season where the nearest restaurant is. And he said over here, there's a place called Yosho, is it? Yeah, Yosho. Or Yoso. Yoso, Yoso. Evoga. Taverna Yoso. Either more. So let's see what this taverna has to offer. Yeah, let's see what it will serve us today. Yeah. Wow, this, I'm, I'm in love with this island. It's, yeah. it's beautiful. Like, uh, we've been around a little bit and, you know, the houses are great. The scenery is amazing. It's just a beautiful day to be out here enjoying the island. Really want a house here now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Here we are. One day, one day. One day, yeah, maybe. Here we are, nice taverna yaso. So we moved to the sun because I was pretty cold, but we have ordered some food. It hasn't come yet, but we've got our cappuccinos, Pepsi which came like I've already drunk it to be fair. Like it came with sweets and everything. It looks pretty cool. So then we've got a complimentary starter, which is tuna pate and little anchovies with all like nice oil and marinade with top of on onions and some looks like good homemade bread. Oh, so good, so good. Let's enjoy. So then we ordered also some calamari rings with chips and risotto with shrimps yep that looks tasty yum yum look at that delicious <clears throat> calamari oh lemon tartar sauce 
delicious. And shrimp risotto. Amazing. It smells delicious. I cannot wait to deep delve in. So I was just chatting to the local waiter here to say, you know, how's life here? He said, you know, in the summer it's, like I said, it's very, very busy. You've got the tourists here. It's very exciting, very fun. But in the winter, he said he tends to travel around because it's quite, you know, calm and peaceful and nothing really going on. So that's kind of like the verdict of kind of like living here. Um, when it comes to sort of like schools and nurseries, they have that here. But then when you want to go to high school, then you would have to get a boat to, to Zada. And I don't know if he meant like when I said high school, I don't know if he meant like university or or college or whatever or whether he meant high school high school so that's kind of the information I got from him but by the sounds of it he was very happy about living here so it looks like a very positive place to live so you just need to be aware of those kind of things when you come to live here really whether you can handle the calmness of the winter and the non-activity but then again you know preco You've got the boats that are going pretty much an every half hour or every hour. So you can always go to mainland Zada, it's not a problem. So, And for if you're not taking the car, if you're just going by yourself as one person, it costs like €2.50 each way. So it's not expensive. Obviously, if you're going with the car and many people every way, then it becomes more expensive. So you can work it out very cheaply. And, you know... A ferry is no different to a bus, really. You could send your kids on the ferry. It's probably safer. Uh, it takes no time. They can just chill on there and then get back into the main city straight away. To be fair, it is safer than going on the road. So, you know, there's plenty of options out there. So today we have spent most of our day here in, on uh, island Ugren. And I have to say it's one stunning, stunning island. And people here are super welcoming. Like we have had only the best experience with locals. And it, it's amazing to see how much action is getting like done right now on the island as Dushan mentioned earlier it's not possible to do it while there is tourist season which is great as well because I think not a lot countries do expect this right so yeah I really have to say all the best things about this island so far this is our first time here so I'm really impressed and it's like this perfect little island when you have family, kids, and you just want somewhere peaceful and nice where to spend your summers and honestly, whole year round even, like perfect, at least for me, who loves to be in her peace and quiet, you know, so it feels amazing. And you just look at them views. Who doesn't want to enjoy that daily, right? It just, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. And to have this all, by your doorstep, it's, it's, it's possible. It's possible for each one of you. you just need to take that amazing chance, don't you? <laughs> so yeah, long story short, that's from me about my personal opinion on this island. And yeah, I am absolutely coming here back once again when it's tourist season to see what it offers then and how busy it gets like what a local saying about it and more and more things to offer to you guys because obviously now people are not that much out it's hard to maybe catch a local it's that easily but yeah once it will get busy i think it will be great
great, great place. But he, now it's perfect for that peace, slow life, enjoying your life in Croatia. So that's it from Preko. We're on our way back to Zadar now. Enjoyed our stay thoroughly. Want to explore more of the island another time, but honestly, if you're looking for an island to stay, this might be the one that you might want to buy a house on. So yeah, until next time, take care. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.